is Derek with Eurovision Island. I'm here with Yvette Mukuchan from Armenia. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine, Derek, right? Oh, Hi, Derek. Yes. Nice. I'm Derek. fine. Derek? Derek. Derek. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I screwed up too. I swear. No, it's fine. I screwed up. Sorry. No, it's fine. I, I said your name right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we have guests. Do you want to start again? Or? Okay. We, can, we can edit. We can okay. edit. No, it's supposed First to be one. sloppy. All right, so tell me, how are rehearsals going? Amazing. Great. Amazing. Great. We an amazing team that's, I don't know, it, the, the result or my feeling that I feel amazing is really the result of the teamwork, and mm. I'm happy. The Armenian delegation and the, the people here are working so amazing. Like, everything is just on point. Just, yeah. Big, 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 um, how do you say? Compliment, yeah. Big compliment mm. to the Swedish team, really. Mm. The response has just been incredible. After your first rehearsal, you were voted the best yeah. in the first semi, and it's just carried on really solid. How are you feeling about that? I didn't expect it at all, but of course, I mean, <laughs> it feels amazing. It feels amazing, but I really didn't expect it because we have 43 countries, mm. and... Um, so many huge artists and um, yeah it, it, it just I just can't believe it but it's a great feedback and I'm happy yeah oh, great. Um, <laughs> could you tell me a little bit um, how did the song come to you originally what was it like when you heard it the first time how did you make it yours Lily Navasajan who wrote the song <laughs> she knows me since seven years so she really wrote the song tailed on me <laughs> and um, she, she knows the color of my voice. She knows my inner emotions. She knows how I sound when I'm mad. She knows how I am when I'm lovely. And I think that she put all these emotions into this song. And therefore, it felt so right. And when I heard it the first time, the, I called and I was like, I don't know why the, the word love wave is coming into my mind. So it was the first thing that came into my mind when I heard the song. It's very fitting. Very cool. Um, so you were living in Germany for quite some time. Yeah, I, I still do. Yeah, oh, you still live in Germany. Yeah. Sorry, my apologies. No, it's okay. But living in Germany, you did, when you did the voice of Germany, you worked with Xavier Naidu, yes. who's kind of more of a hip hop artist, and you were studied jazz vocals originally. What kinds of things were you learning? Oh, you on know, Naidu? well, Xavier Naidu is not not only a hip hop artist. He, I grew up with his songs, hmm. with his lyrics. Wo willst du hin? Denn es macht jetzt keinen Sinn. Um, I think my generation knows Xavier Naidoo's songs very, very well because we grew up with his lyrics and with his songs. And, mm. and oh, I don't know, it's a huge, huge privilege to, to, to be uh, chosen as from, from him, you know? Mm. When, he, when he pressed the button at the voice, I just, just thought I'm dying. Mm. <laughs> Were you a little worried when he was possibly announced as a representative of Germany to I go up against him? I directly called him. I couldn't mm. reach him. Then I called his wife and I couldn't reach her. Mm. And I was like, oh my God, because I was so happy about it. I was so happy about it because, I don't know, it's he, Xavier Naidu is somebody who's always supporting his, his artist. Mm. And he's such a nice person. And I knew that if, I mean, I, I even felt a little bit embar um, embarrassed to say yeah. embarrassed, yeah. Because I was like, how can I participate on a contest where Xavier Naidoo is representing a country? This is, you know, it's a respect thing. I mean, Xavier Naidoo is a living idol for me. Mm. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't reach him. And then, yeah. So, <laughs> so did you just leave a message? I'm going to beat you. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to beat you. No, uh, afterwards, I talked to his wife. And um, they said they're so happy that um, Armenia chose me. Mm. And they're going to support me with everything they can. And um, it's a really, really lovely relation with them. And I'm so thankful. Yeah. Okay. Moving uh, just very quickly. Uh, so last year we had genealogy, which brought together artists from every continent yeah. except Antarctica, obviously. Um, but it was sort of a very patriotic, very historical song. And this year it's a very kind of edgy, very personal, very sexually charged song. How does it, how does it feel to kind of represent your country with something like that? To follow up something a little bit more serious, with something a little bit more. Uh, to be honest, I'm really happy that my country uh, or the people who chose me and the song mm. are were so open and they wanted to have something new. They said, you know what, this year we want to have something totally new and they were really open-minded and um, I'm thankful for that. You know, mm. it doesn't have to be ethnic every year. Mm. So uh, it's, it's, it's not a thing that Armenia says, you know, it has to be ethnic. Or um, I think genealogy did a great job last year. Mm. And um, they ca really came together in a great way, and um, they 
reflected the message. And um, well, this year it's time for some legs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just kind of kind of going off of that. You're, your song is very kind of experimental. You have a very kind of slow start, and then it just explodes at about the first minute, and it's very sexual. Kind it of is stage, really so, okay, well, okay, but in a beautiful way. No, no, Don't it's get good. Me wrong. It's really nice to hear how mm. people, um, yeah, how people see it because it didn't. It's, it's not meant in a sexual way, in no way. Or but no, no, but it's great. I yeah. mean, it's a compliment. Thank you. Yeah. A beautiful woman dancing on stage and yeah. fire and light and, and the way the camera kind of traces your body it's it's okay. like very okay. in control you mean this poses and yeah. yeah they come naturally you know that's why i don't i can't see how they how people feel okay it seems very <laughs> it seems very powerful when you're up there thank you thanks okay so i guess just to wrap up so you're number seven in your semi yeah you feeling lucky um yeah i don't believe in this numbers and everything but yeah I'm, I'm happy that I'm not in, in the very end because I think I, I would die if I would wait to be the last one. Mm. Feeling good. Um, so how can people follow you? How can people track you down, see what you're doing? People can follow me. Music? Oh, they can follow me on my social media, on uh, Facebook at Evita Mukuchian Official. Okay, I think you have to write it somewhere because Mukuchian, nobody can <laughs> spell that. Evita Mukuchian um, on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. They're always updates every day. Snapchat also. I started with Snapchat, so give me a little time. But yeah, so there are a lot of social media places where you can find me. There's a lot of beautiful pictures up there right now. I was checking out this morning. Thanks. So, I work. tried my best. <laughs> yeah, good. All right, and you can find us on EurovisionIsland.net or ESC Insight. Thank you for joining us today. Have a good night. Or a good day. I don't know. Thank you. <laughs>